Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is another product review and today is a little bit more exciting than the others uh, because today I think I got the perfect dupe for the Kylie lip kit. I've done a whole review on this. You can go to the info bar or you can click the link right here and check it out. I do love the lip pencils from the Kylie lip kit but the liquid lipstick for me is a bit too drying. It is just not my opinion, it's everyone's opinion. If you do not have lip fillers or you know you don't have that full pouty lips without those you know lines that you naturally have on your lips then it's going to you know show each and every line on your lips. Lip pencils from the Kylie lip kit are to die for. If I have to recommend two of the lip shades from the Kylie lip range I would say Kristen and Ginger is something that you need to pick up because it's a very flattering color. It is those are the liquid lipsticks that will suit each and every skin tone and especially an Indian skin tone. So without wasting much time, I'm just going to show you the dupe of this. But before I do, do subscribe to my channel and do follow me on my Instagram, do follow me on Snapchat. I'm a lot more on Instagram these days, very strangely enough. I'm loving the Insta stories and I interact with you guys a lot more on Insta stories. I'm on Snapchat as well, on Facebook and on Twitter. So let's get started. Okay, so now the dupe that I have to show you for the Kylie lip kit comes from makeup revolution and it's the retro luxe matte lip kit just look at it there is so many similarity the lips is right up there for the you know matte revolution the lips embossed is right down here it's the retro luxe they've also got the lip kit name that is just right i went to get more colors to show you guys and i'm hoping because i placed an order for more colors to show you each and every lip swatch but this was the only one that was available in the drugstore because everything else was sold out now let me tell you that this one the Kylie lip kit retails for about $29 and there is about I think 12 or $15 over on top of this uh, as shipping where shipping is concerned by the time it comes to you you do have uh, you know if you are staying in the UK there is a custom charge I mean if you are slapped with a custom charge uh, you know it could be around 15 to about 16 pounds worth of custom charge and that is a lot and I have always I mean my Whenever I've done my, you know, Kylie uh, Jenna Cosmetics review, whereas the, even the Royal Peach Palette, which you guys need to check out, because for me, I totally love the Royal Peach Palette. I wish that she had a distributor here in the UK because you know the shipping plus custom charge makes it a real pain in the butt. There is the Makeup Revolution you know Retro Lux lip kit. It's about six pounds. I shall put everything in the info bar so that you guys can check out you know if at all you really want to buy. This has been introduced in the UK and apparently this is going to be introduced world over depending on how successful this one is. Now this is a bit smaller than the actual lip kit and inside this lip kit let me open this one for you so you get your liquid lipstick and you get your lip pencil this is the makeup revolutions lip kit and I'm going to open this behind it it's all your ingredients what the you know liquid lipsticks all about is what you know the regal looks like the color is definitely it shows in this little tiny swatch and it says lip contour um, you know it's just a very very uh, luxe box for sure I mean I it goes by retro luxe and I see that they have definitely spent a lot of time and money on their packaging it doesn't look like a drugstore packaging for sure I just think that it's a little bit more luxurious let me compare the two liquid lipstick bottles and it's the same size guys it's just that they did not waste much space uh, there's a lot of space wasted when you put the you know Kylie liquid lipstick so these are the two. I'm going to show you exactly what I did with the Kylie liquid lipstick, uh, you know, where wearability is concerned and as well as how long it lasts. So we'll put this to a test and let me show you now the lip pencils of it. The thing about the Kylie lip pencils, it's so creamy to apply that the, it's like the Huda Beauty lip contour. You need to keep sharpening it and it gets smaller and smaller and that's the only you know negative thing about their lip pencils because it's so creamy to apply so I've <laughs> applied the lip pencil so many times this is the lip pencil from Makeup Revolution I'm going to open this because this is sealed and I hope that this is as creamy as the Kylie lip kit and if it is my god I am just going to grab on each and every kit and this is going to be my new favorite if it is because just imagine how cheap it is you see the tip of the lip pencil very much similar to what the Kylie lip kit lip pencil is it looks really nice guys it looks really luxurious
Okay, first impression, this is extremely creamy. Um, not as pigmented as what the Christian Lip Kit is. I have to give it the benefit of the doubt that this is a much lighter color than the Christian Lip Kit. Christian uh, is more of a reddish brown lipstick, so very much similar to the Catherine from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So maybe that is why this has got a little more of a peachy pink undertone. So creamy this is so creamy it was just gliding did you see that and now I'm going to fill up my lips with this lip uh, pencil just like how I do with the Kylie lipstick because the liquid lipstick stays on much better once you fill it with the uh, lip pencil something about the Kylie lip pencil makes the liquid lipstick much more uh, sits much more better on your lips when you fill it in. I'm hoping to get you know those darker colors from this Retro Lux because I'm sure they are beautiful new browns that I've seen in the collection and I definitely want them. But this will be an exact dupe for I think it is the peach, uh, peachy or peach from the Kylie Jenner you know liquid lipstick range. This is the lipstick, very different from the rest of the liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution because it's got a little more luxurious bottle. I'm talking about, you know, a gold cap. Very different from the Kylie liquid lipstick. It's got a doe foot applicator. I have to say from what I have applied, uh, the liquid lipstick from Kylie goes, it's got a much more of a thinner liquid consistency whereas this one has got a little more of a moussey, creamy consistency. Now what happens with liquid lipsticks that's got a little more of a thicker, creamy consistency is that it takes time to dry up, number one, and usually it is much more comfortable than the ones that are, you know, absolute, you know, liquidy to apply. So I have to mention that this is much more lighter to what you know the packaging looks like i mean over here regal looks a lot more darker but this has got more of like you know an orange undertone to it it's like a peach uh lipstick very 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 pretty for sure but you know it's got like a peachy orangey undertone to it it's taking time to dry down because of its you know thick creamy formula i think it will take a little bit more time to dry down because with the uh, you know the lip kits from kylie they just dry down immediately into a very dry matte and it's not going to transfer at all just like the liquid lipsticks from kylie on the inside on the inner you know portion of my lips i can feel it like really drying down yeah there is there's a little bit of tackiness to it okay it's dried down there is there is absolutely no transfer. It's about 10 o'clock and I am just going to apply this for about 2-3 hours. I'm going to get you know something to eat, I'm going to drink something and let's see how this wears off in another 2 hours or something. Yeah, I'll get back to you. So guys, it's about 12.30 and I had my tea, I had a little toast and jam to have. So it did not crack in the middle like I expected it to, which I'm really impressed. But then again, I didn't have anything oily, you know, it was just jam and toast. So for me, inside of it, it's a lot more drying than the Kylie lip kit, strangely enough. Um, there's no fragrance at all to this lipstick. No fragrance whatsoever, whereas with the Kylie, it's a very, uh, you know, vanilla frosting kind of a fragrance to this one so let's see how this one lasts in another two three hours and i shall get back to you my hair is in a mess and definitely there's oil seeping out of my makeup it's about three o'clock let's just ignore all of that i have to say that this lip lipstick is definitely it's wearing down it's losing its power guys right on the center i mean i didn't have much to eat but i had a lot of you know tea and coffee and i had some i was a bit bad and i had a lot of you know crisp and chips but i can see that this is definitely wearing down in the center it is splitting okay so what is my verdict on this one i would give this a six out of ten only because it was not as moisturizing as i expected it to be uh, it did dry down on the inner corner of my lips i felt it drying down a lot more strangely enough than the kylie lip kit but on this side like if i touch this side it is it is quite moisturizing very strange this liquid lipstick is i think it is 
it's a lipstick that will feel and look different on various lip you know pigmentation as well as you know if you are somebody who doesn't have too many lines on the lips um, or if you have lip fillers then I think this would really work out well for you where packaging is concerned and you know look at the lip pencil I am totally in love with this lip pencil guys because for about six pounds you're getting a liquid lipstick you're getting the lip pencil you're getting a very cute packaging all that has won me over and that's why I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. Whereas Kylie Jenner's lip kits, the packaging of her lip kits, the packaging of her eyeshadow, everything that comes from Kylie Cosmetics, the packaging is a 10 on 10. This is not a purchase that I regret buying because it is kind of fun, you know, for a drugstore. Look at it. They've given you, they've gone all out and given you a very luxurious product for a drugstore. And the you know makeup revolution i think their lip salvation is a lipstick that is extremely drying for me you know but this is not as drying as the other one so i think they have kind of um you know worked on their formula even the bottle everything about it is so pretty look at the lipstick the lip shade as well it is very very pretty but it was not as opaque as the liquid lipstick from Kylie Jenner. I had to go two, three times into it. I had to dig into it because it's got a very thick, creamy kind of formula. Not as liquidy as the Kylie Jenner one. If you don't want to spend too much on the shipping for a Kylie Jenner Cosmetics or you don't want to do a custom charge depending on where you live, definitely if you're in the UK, there is a custom charge to it then this is something that you can definitely reach out for and i would say that it lasts for about a good three to four hours and that's good enough i mean come on it's a drug drugstore brand end of the day and i don't think you can reapply on top of the dried down liquid lipstick it's the same thing with the kylie jenner one i usually take out what has dried down you know with a makeup wipe remove a wipe and then i reapply all over again a fresh batch and it works on my lips much more better so i hope you enjoyed watching this do stick around for various other product reviews of mine i have taken a good long two weeks break with my sister and i am back to filming i required that break guys i enjoyed my two weeks with her and i'm really happy that i did because it has it has got me a little more inspired and motivated to come out and be much more active on YouTube and on my Instagram as well. So do say hi to me on all my other various social media platforms and I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Until later, bye for now.